Zoe, here we are at Barnsley Hospice. What can you tell us about what's happening today? Well, the football club's come today to donate um, lots of uh, materials that we can use with children. Um, that is my role here at the hospice. I work with children from five upwards um, and children and families. Um, so I see children every day um, to get them to talk about the feelings and how they're feeling about um, their special person. Um, so the materials that the football club has gave us today will just enhance what we already do at the hospice. Um, you know, what one child might want to do with one material, another one might do something else. We do memory boxes with children. Uh, it's important that, you know, the children remember their special person when they was well and not just while they're here um, poorly. Um, so, you know, the materials will just help us to do that um, and we're really grateful. Um, we see lots of um, very, very sad um, cases here, but you know we do see children into bereavement as well, um, and it's not not all sad. You know we do have some fun times as well. Now have you found the visit from the players today? Fantastic, absolutely fantastic. The football club we've been having uh, fantastic links anyway. Um, you know they've given us places for mascots for the children um, and places for the legends suite which the children have really enjoyed and not stopped talking about when they've come to see me and I just think it's great that you can offer that in you know in these really difficult times that they're going through. And we've kicked off a new charity partnership today with, between Barnsley Hospice and the club that must be really beneficial for the hospice moving forwards. Definitely yes yeah and you know I've already um, spoke to some people and all said you know what you can do for us and and the, the fantastic links that we can have with the football club thanks Zoe thank you thank you very much so Sam here we are at the hospice what can you tell us about the day and what's happened today oh we're absolutely thrilled today um, obviously the club have decided to work with Barnsley Hospice through a charity partnership um, it's really important to us as a hospice we need to raise over two million pounds a year and raising awareness is a big part of that so we can generate that income to support our patients and their families. It's been a great day, it's been a great atmosphere here and the patients and the families have loved having you here um, and we're hoping it's going to be a really good and um, fruitful partnership. Yeah, like you say, we've kicked off a new charity partnership between the club and the hospice. What's that going to entail moving forwards? Um, obviously, we've been working with the club over the last few years, so let's come together and having players come to the hospice, which has always made such a difference. Um, but it's, hopefully it means we're going to work more closely together, um, raise lots of funds um, and profile of the hospice and the work that we do. Um, at the minute, we're just looking at replacing all our uh, IPU patient TVs and their fittings um, that comes at a cost it's a luxury item obviously patient care um, and investing our money into patient care is really important but making sure patients have got the home from home facilities is also really important so we're going to launch a, a crowdfunding appeal through just giving with the club um, to try and raise as much profile as we can and try and hit that £1,500 target to, um, to, to replace the TVs the club have very kindly given a substantial donation towards the family team equipment and um, towards to kickstart the crowdfunding appeal. But we need people to get behind it and to, to be generous and dig deep and support that. Like you say, we really want to give this crowdfunding a big push over the next few weeks and months. How can fans get involved and make a donation? Well, we've set up a Just Giving page um, under the Hospice TV appeal. Uh, we'll be releasing all that links on various social media channels and through the press. Um, any fans that want to donate online, please do. There's a text giving number that we'll be publishing as well, so it's really easy to send a text message and just donate what you can, what you can give. Um, and also get in touch with us here in fundraising at the hospice if you want to give anything, um, any donations offline. We'll make it as easy as possible.